good morning, everyone. Day 18 on the island. I'll tell you what. I sure hope it gets more sunny out there than it is right now. I see no sun. Still super windy. Still chilly. Not cool. Yeah. I need to get them clothes washed out and hung up on the on the line there and drying. As long as it don't rain, that should be good. I can still plug up the solar generator. It ain't been plugged up to the panel for two days, still supplying power. And as of last night, when I went to bed, it was still full. Charging everything, you know, phones, e-cigs, headlights, lanterns, uh, MP3 players, you know, you name it. That, that little setup right there is, is pretty sharp. Does the trick. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and uh, have me a vape, a little bit of water, and uh, go out here and get them clothes hung up on the line and laying on the ground ever since they got blowed on the ground by the storm. All covered in mud and crap like that. Little pieces of rock, you know. So get that taken care of. Sun shower plugged up. Solar generator plugged up and bluegill vision time after that. All I need is four bluegills. And I won't be eating ramen tonight. I'll be eating some good food. If not blue bluegills, well, it's more of that tasty gourmet ramen going on. <laughs> All right. Love you, Abern. Hope everybody has a good morning and I'll catch you after a while. All right, everyone. What's going on? Welcome to today's episode of Fishing with Island Rob. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, didn't even have no coffee this morning or nothing. Got up, did my camp chores. Uh, hiked across the island through the woods and uh, came over here to my cove I like to fish in. And uh, I'm going to try out the little guy I got from Frog. I'm also going to try out this guy here. That's my own little rig gear, put him together and everything. Uh, I don't think it runs quite right, but it's all right. I'm going give to it, give it some cash anyhow. And uh, I also brought the night crawlers. So got the sun shower warming up on the rocks over there on the other side of the island. So if I get all super stinkier than I already am, which is pretty stinky anyway, so I'll be able to take me a shower tonight, so long as it's cool, uh, warm enough out, not too cool. So anyhow... I think I'm just going to start out with this one here, although this is not really a bluegill rig. I would think this would be more for bass. It's a little bit big for gills, but uh, we're going to give him a few casts, you know, just for the heck of it, see how it's going. Oh, I forgot to take off these snake chaps. I'm going to have to, I might have to do that in a little while. Or snake gators, actually, not chaps. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how things goes here. Hopefully catch some fish. Ain't counting on it, though. Especially not with this thing. I really don't expect it to catch anything. Oh, it looks pretty good coming through the water there, though. Hey, I'm kind of surprised. I can see it. Ooh, wow, there was a little bass following to follow in that lure there. Wow. Need a big guy to be following that. Put the smack down on it, you know? Of course, big guy, big old bass, that's not going to provide me with no dinner because I'll put him right back in the water unless he happens to be a 21 plus smallmouth. Then I would, uh, Oh, well, I guess I'd be out of luck on that, too, because I ain't got, you know, I can't be 
a new one over there, frogs today. They're just, this wind and stuff, there just ain't no way. I'd have to be able to get over there with a fair amount of speed so I could get him wrapped up in a wet paper, uh, not wet paper towel, but a wet uh, towel and stuck in the freezer for, you know, taxidermy. All right, I'm gonna do a few more casts with this here thing, and I'm gonna get to get to bluegill fishing. Thought about doing a little a little ramen stir fry type of thing tonight. Take the ramen there and put it in the frying pan with some water and some lemon juice hit it with some salt and pepper and some of that Montreal then cube up some of them bluegills there and uh, put them in the in the pan frying pan there with the ramen and, and cook it up like that I bet it'd be right tasty and filling too yes I imagine it would Pretty nice day today here on the island. Ooh, I think I had a bite on this on this little twister tail here. I know they're good, you know, for fishing with, but I haven't ever done any of it. Anyhow, I was saying it's a pretty nice day on the island today. Finally got some sun back. It's not too cool. Warmed up some. kind of over the old being cold jazz. Yes, though, a good dinner tonight involving bluegill. Make old Rob right happy. Plain bluegill by itself. Bluegill with ramen. Yeah, just any way I can have some bluegill be. That'd be alright. All right, I think that's enough of this. I'm gonna put this one up, and I'm gonna uh, get to trying to catch some, some of them air gills. Uh, I'm gonna go with the same little setup what Frog gave to me, or not gave to me, but told me about. And uh, woohoo! Be nice. I'd like to be able to catch some bluegills on this, and not even have to touch a night crawler today. It'll be alright. I mean, I might have to cut this plastic off this rod. Or maybe I won't. Maybe it's going to tear off. There we go. Oh no. Where'd it go? I dropped it. Oh man, don't even tell me now. I've left a piece of plastic here on the bank somewhere. It's going to go right in my pocket. I was going to carry it across there. And, uh, you know, put it in the garbage where it belongs. I am not seeing it anywhere. I don't know whether it flew in the water. It was clear plastic. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know whether it flew in the water and now I can't see it because it's clear. Or what's going on? See what? I'm dropping all kinds of stuff on this trip. You name it. Fish, plastic. Well. I'll just have to pick up a couple extra pieces of garbage if I see them. Be sure I pick them up. Kind of try to make up for that little mess up there. All right, anyhow. Enough jabbering. Back to some 
some fish. I think I'm going to cast this around for a couple hours and uh, then I'll move the night crawlers. Everyone up yonder is doing all right, having a good day. Well, I just saw a big swirl down yonder. It kind of splashed a little bit, and see if I can kind of toss down that way a little bit. Yeah, he ain't gonna see that's too far away. Again, I could be wrong, I guess. Not even a nibble today. Sure do hear some. Whoa, hey. I got a little something. He, he ain't no count for eating. I think he's a little bass. Yeah, a little smallmouth. I, I'll take him. That's, that's pretty good for the pretty good for the uh, video here just hold still buddy hold, hold, hold still and I'll try to help you out here hold on we almost got you loose There we go. Set it down. I'm definitely gonna have to go rinse my hands off now. Get him up here. Nice little small mouth. He'll be happy to get back in the water, I'm sure. And away he goes. And he is a happy guy. <laughs> God, this smell. not too shabby I'll take a little little small mouth like that any day of course uh, not quite what I want I want bluegills bluegills people bluegills that's right all right let's give them some more casts Got over floating by in a bass boat. Probably ain't used to seeing people out here talking to a camera. Sure would have been nice if that was a bluegill. that was you know whether I had a hit or whether that was some mill full I 
Now the wind's calming down a little bit. That bait comes from water. Little blade was not, oh, that wasn't it. I was seeing things. I thought I saw the bait coming through the water and my blade wasn't spinning. So I don't know what it was I was seeing. Snap, be sure that blade's gonna spin. Let's check on this thing here. Well, stick the hook in my finger there. Alright, that's back to normal. Normal operating procedure there. Well, alright, alright. These are famine around here lately. They're roasting, you know, burning up too hot or uh, too cool. Not getting any bites on this thing at all today. Kind of surprised that I'm not, especially over here. Of course, I never tried it over here in the cove I like to fish in. Well, hey, I've got something. Oh, I think he's another little bass, so that ain't gonna do me no good. I can't eat bass. Well, I can, but definitely not my thing. Yep, that's what it is. Another little smallmouth. Come on, guy. No point in all that, Jess. You're going to go back in the water here in just a minute, and everything will be all right. Whoa, if you hold still, could have done practically been back in the water. There you go. Another little small mouth. He's pretty nice for a little guy, you know. Well, I rinse my hands off again. Stinky fish stuff. I'll be right back. Oh, I found that plastic. Yay. Well, we know one thing, little small mouse likes that bait too. Not such a bad thing, I don't reckon. Unless of course you're wanting to eat bluegills, then that ain't helping you out none. I think you might have some kind of a tournament going on today or something. 
because this is a Tuesday. It's awful lot of traffic out there on the lake for a Tuesday. Hey, whoa, them little small mouse hits a bait there. They hit it hard. There's some bluegills following that bait in that time. Three or four of them. Didn't look like they was either size, but means there's bluegills in here. More of them anyways. How long is this video? 19 minutes. So I get to 20, I'm going to stop it. And we'll just make this part one. I'm going to cast this uh, little artificial around for a little while longer. And uh, then I will uh, throw on a nightcrawler rig on Mother Pole. Take that little twister tail off there. And uh, do some bluegill fishing that way. And maybe we can put a few in the basket for dinner tonight. As I said already, maybe a couple times today. I just don't want plain ramen again tonight. I'd rather just not eat no dinner. Which I've been known to do. I'm going to let it sink all the way to the bottom. Might be a mistake. I might lose it. All right, it's at the bottom. Now I'm going to reel it back in. See how that goes. Anything down there closer to the bottom, maybe a little bit bigger, might want to smack it, you know. Guess not. All right, are we at 20 minutes? Yes, we are. Okay, one more cast, and then I'm going to put it on pause. Or I'm actually going to stop it. Come back here in a little while with some nightcrawler fish and see how that goes. Or if I don't get no bluegills, I could just have uh, tuna and crackers for dinner. I forgot about that. Or since I didn't eat no breakfast, I could have I could have oatmeal. That ain't too shabby neither. Man, I keep on saying one more cast, but it's always one more cast. Okay, for real. Legitimate this time, one more cast. Try a little bit faster retrieve speed. See if that does anything. And apparently not. That is all right. All right, everyone. I'm going to put up this little beetle spin type uh, bait here in this little pole. And I'm going to go to uh, go to the nightcrawler rig. So. Oh, I'm also go up here and sit down for a minute. Take these snake gators off and have me a vape. But uh, I will be back here in a little while for part two of Bluegill Fishing Thousand Draw. <laughs> All right, see y'all in a while. Bye.